that's the case. All right, maybe Merlin will bring it back for us. Where did I start today? 3.6. Wow. So my first four games were wins. And then the last two games were so bad with losses that I'm actually negative on on points now. That's kind of stupid. Four four plus MMR games negated by two. That sucks. Maybe this game will be better. I want this I don't think I want this pair necessarily. I guess it's fine. Yeah. I don't know, like it's just like it's just a tough kind of a tough pill to swallow sometimes cuz it's one of these things where like I don't feel like I'm doing anything like like obviously, you know, you can't play perfect all the time, but I feel like I I I play most games good enough that I should be getting like top four consistently, but it's just like sometimes the fight RNG you just you just can't. I don't know. It's I guess it's just one of those things where like it's hard for me to accept the fact that other players are just getting consistent like consistent better RNG. Like I'd rather just admit that there's people better than me rather than like I don't know, rather than just like have to suffer through bad RNG. I want to believe that that's the case, that it's just people are better, genuinely better than than just me being unlucky, if that makes sense. There's nobody better than you. No, it's not true. I, I consider you, myself a good player, game. but Why you I'm definitely not the best, but I feel like I don't make a lot of mistakes. Okay, this is an interesting turn. You can buy this, but I'm, I'm not sure if it's bait or not. This early on is pretty strong. I can't buy this because I have no units to work with. I think it's just this and this. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like they say, it's just the way of the road, but it just feels so bad. That awkward moment when you're like, oh, hey, look, I'm, I'm at 41 health. I'm probably the strongest one in the lobby. And then you realize Loki's at 45. That's kind of awkward. Uh, yes. Wonder Waddle things. Hashtag Wonder Waddle things. Couldn't even punish him with the loss there. All right. Well, that, this game's over. Wonder Waddle just uh, Waddle wins. Hermes boots here is pretty good.
Yeah, Wonder Waddle, if Wonder Waddle knows how to play the, the Gilded Harp early game and late game, well, I mean, Gilded Harp early game is brain dead, but if he knows how to play the early or the, the late game harp, then it's probably just GG. Very, very difficult to beat that. Uh, on the bright side, I'm really strong, so I guess there is that. How do you play the Gilded Harp in general? So you look for you look for as many level three synergies as you can find with like. Hi, are you, what are you doing? OK, um. All right, my my wife and my cat are both being loud. <laughs> um. Anyway, so yeah, for as far as it goes with uh, with the Gilded Harp, you want to look for like synergies as you can. Uh, good units like the Stag are really strong. Um, the the good princess that gives buffs is really or the good mage that gives buffs is really good. Basically, you just want to try to take as much synergistic things as possible and, and make a strong board um, and then look for polywoggles that are upgraded. And then find Grim Souls, and you hold your Polywoggles until you're level five, and then you just transform them with Grim Soul. Then you get upgraded level six units, and you just win the game. I think I'm strong enough to buy this. Yeah, you can force. Sometimes you can force the adventurer to. If you find a, if you find an adventure, um, and you have the support for it to make it like strong enough to kill things, then definitely go for it. There's a couple different ways that you can do it. The other option is um, um, you pick up doublies, like upgraded, or I guess they're triplies. You pick up triplies if you find them in your shop, and then you can just have like, if you just have like three triplies on your bench, and then you find one lordy in the late game, you can just easily transition to dwarves too. Mass Shadow Assassin. Yeah, if, if you get the pieces, like there's definitely multiple ways to play it. Like, in my opinion, there's optimal ways to to build like to once you get that build, there's optimal things to do. But sometimes you just don't get that. And you end up just having to like. Just make do with what you have. Normally I wouldn't lock just for a lucky coin, but because I'm Merlin, it's worth it. This is the biggest mim I've seen. Like this this bitch is huge. Synergizing and crushing, yeah. Like the thing is, is that like if you hit Gilded Harp early enough, like if you hit it, if you hit the harp on the turn like before you hit level three and then you you go into level three with the harp and you can buy like two upgraded units. You can literally just like go crazy and just kill the whole lobby with upgraded damage. She's going to sit at the door and cry. OK, I'll open the door. <laughs> get in there mim get in there with your 11 9 ass and just fuck shit up <laughs> the thickest mad mim i've ever seen hmm 
So obviously we're very strong. We just got to figure out where we want to go from here. That's the only questionable thing. I have... Like, I could honestly do this. I could honestly go for this. Uh, I kind of want to sell this off. So it doesn't catch the buff. The book is pretty synergistic with these. We'll go for it. Consideration for moving the Mim. So that these catch the bonuses. This is going to pretty much kill whatever it attacks anyway. And this doesn't really matter. So I think this is probably correct. And then these attack first in the back row. Seems fine. That's not good. Oh man. This is going to be a bitch to try to hit this triple. Good hit. Go Mim! Boom! Yeah! See, we're actually getting good fight RNG for once. Feels good, man. I'm playing a dead player, do I really want to roll cats here? I guess it's worth it. It's worth it just for the stats here. We're going to be level 6 on the following turn, so... Yeah. We're in a pretty good spot. And then when we hit 6, we're going to look for... Let's see... We have... We're kind of in an open, a pretty open comp. Like we could go for, we could go for like a Storm King build. We could go for Pump King. We could pivot away from the mage stuff a little bit and go more towards uh, like monsters. Cause we have two monsters. We could go for like Oni King and we could start picking up friendly spirits and stuff. So I'm not opposed to that. I'm also okay with uh, completely pivoting to uh, good stuff if I find a good boy early. I'm not really hard committed to uh, the dark at the moment. I could take Mummy here with Hermes Boots. It doesn't seem terrible. I guess we sell this to start so it doesn't catch any buffs. Are we at the stage of the game where Mummy actually does something, though? I think Medusa is still better. Okay, there's a Storm King. Oh, there's a good boy, though, too. I kind of like going the Storm King direction more, to be honest. It's probably not correct, but it's more fun. I like to have fun. Can we get a better spell than for glory here? If we win, we get a level 6 unit. Pretty good.
block for that pump king, I think. Open up another space. We have a lot of stats. Not a bad hit. Oh, come on, man. Oh, the Jerry. Griefed by the Jerry. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. I don't need to switch heroes just yet. I think we can hold off a little bit longer. All right, let's sell this. Don't want it to catch the buffs. I think we're done with this frog as well. Okay, I guess, uh, I guess we're getting a chicken then. Okay, so how do we want to play? Wonder Waddle transformed into Pied Piper, it looks like. This being on the front line seems kind of bad. If we're going to play with it on the front line, it should probably be attacking first. We position like this. The fact that I've only seen one triple this game is kind of wild. I'm I'm terrified at, at how strong Wonder Waddle is. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're scamming our way. We're scamming. Hit the king. Nice. Those are terrible spawns. Oh, right? Okay, doesn't matter. We still won the fight. Nice. That's huge. Wish I could hit this triple, like, fuck. So hard to find. All right, I think Mim is finally done. Mim has uh, has served me well, but time is nigh. Sell chicken, buy the spell, and then roll. Do that. This seems like a reasonable second place to third place comp. We just we don't have any we don't have any treasures. We don't have any like real late game. Late game like finisher type stuff. Like a potential a potential way that we could like make something happen as if we... No, that doesn't even really work. I need a shop with, like, double Storm King. <laughs> double Storm King into, like, Round Table or the Sword. Like, either one of those would be really beneficial for me. Yeah, we have a good chance of being able to, to take down the the Wonder Waddle. It's the other player, the Loki, that I'm a little worried about. Uh, 
The fight took so long. Ooh, Hercules. Is it too late for a Hercules? I've got the the Grumble Gore. It might not be. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we might be able to make it work. I want to buff the buff the grumble here. Not really seeing a whole lot of options. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking not fantastic for me. If I had had a little bit more time to think about it, I may have put the I may have put in the um the Medusa here. Something kill this. It's not what I had in mind. All right, that was a good hit, though. Do so? Question mark. Oh, we won. Or it's a tie. Never mind. Damn. Misread the damage. Damn. Okay, there's a there's a treasure. I, I'd forgotten what treasures look like, so that's nice. I can take Ambrosia here. Sophie is pretty good too. But Ambrosia gives me an upgraded pumpkin. That's pretty important right now. Fugify on this. It completes it in two. Completes it in two hits instead of uh, three. It's kind of important. How do I want to position this? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I got Excal, too. All right, that's really good. Nice. Sorry, right, we got the level six treasure, so we have a chance to be able to do some stuff here. Big morph. That's good. Oh. Oh, kill this! Kill this! No! No. I could have... I could have won. These aren't the ones that I wanted, unfortunately.
None of these really do anything. I really just... I really just want... Like... Other stuff. <laughs> I'm going to move this buff over. This doesn't need the extra attack. Does Echo would work with the with the 100? Yeah, it does. But like you said, it has no HP, so it, it makes it rough. Yeah, like I said, we have a we have a reasonably strong comp. It's good enough to probably get like second or third. I need an insane shop to have a chance to win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely on lock for those, so that's nice. Pigamorph is exactly what we want in this this spot. It's too late for Oni King. It just doesn't. It just doesn't do anything. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. Considering buying the Cupid for the final fight. Yeah, having the, the Cupid tech could potentially. It could potentially sway the game. I, I think what I'm going to end up doing is. Um, for the final fight, I'm going to look for another Dusa so I can maybe play double Dusa up front and then move this to the back row and try to just scam my way. Yeah, I'd backline the Cupid for sure. Deuce is up front. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of go from there. There is also the potential that the upgraded uh, Pumpkin can give me the Deuce as well. So there is that. OK, those are fine. Uh, sure. All right, as long as we get reliable, oh, my God. Uh, go right, go right, go right. Oh no, left is good. No, left is good. Never mind. I, I lied. Thank you for not listening to me, game. <laughs> Night hooding the Storm King seems bad. Seems bad. Buy this. Question mark. Uh, I need to try to find this other Dusa. Double Cupid. I could go double Cupid. That doesn't seem awful. Oh, I don't. I, why did I take kidnap? I, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's stats, but I'm going to get a statue. Me first. Nuke. Nuke, nuke, nuke. Boom. Got him. Nuke. Big morph. <laughs> All right, maybe that was a little ambitious. <laughs> this hits there. Nice. Fight. 
The scam of the century? Question mark? The scam of the century? <laughs> Bernie made off in here. <laughs> Now I get the dead guy rotation smile. But what do I what do I look for? The good boys are out of the pool. Otherwise I would take the beauty. I think it's just take the I think we just take Thanos and just see where that goes. Could buy this. Dragon. Oh, the scam dragon with the hundred attack sword. Yeah. Yeah, that could be that could be doable. Oh, I was gonna put this bear in, huh? Bear in. Uh lock. Yes. So Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this is definitely a weird, a weird game. <laughs> Let's go. Take off. Wrong Medusa. Oh shit! Yeah, it's fine. We're fighting a ghost. I wasn't too concerned about it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this, see what treasure we get. If we get like Harvest Moon, we could go for a scam. Now these are all pretty shitty. There's another Storm King though, finally. Storm King. I think I just skip here. All right, so let's see, sell this shit off. Double Dusa in. We'll put the healthier. It doesn't matter which one goes where, actually. This one's actually better being here because it has less of a chance of killing one of the one of the uh, the dogs. All right, let's roll a little bit. Poison Apple. Poison Apple could potentially hit the Echo Wood. Here's my Storm King triple. That's pretty huge. Wand. I could take wand for the future. Uh, I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna let this pass this turn because uh, it's gonna it's just gonna flop to my next turn, so I, I can get my selection later. We're just uh, we're just chilling for now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What the f- oh, that's- that's people sad. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh! Oh! Wait, Chansu? Chansu? Nusa! Nusa! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fucking got him! Get out of here! Yeah! <laughs> the scam lord! The Thanos scam! Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more. I put out a new video and live stream on Twitch every single weekday. You can also follow me on Twitter, at JohnTheWordsGuy. See you later.